fibers and plastics. Introduction Our clothes are made up of different types of fabrics. Woolen, cotton, silk and synthetic are some of the important fibers that are either obtained from plants, animals or man-made. The properties of one kind of fiber varies from others. That is why you wear woolen clothes in winters and cotton clothes in summer. Nowadays, clothes are manufactured by blending synthetic fiber in natural fibers. In this chapter, you will study various types of synthetic fibers and plastics in detail. Natural fiber. These fibers are obtained from nature or they occur in nature. They might be of plant or animal origin. Plant fibers are made up of cellulose present in the plants. These include jute, flex, cotton, etc. Animal fibers are made up of complex protein compounds that are major part of the animals. These include wool, silk, mohair, alpaca, etc. Artificial fibers. Fibers are made by man using various methods. The synthetic materials are also obtained by chemical reactions between two or more substances. Artificial fibers possess a unique ability to be engineered for specific end uses. Some artificial or synthetic fibers include rayon, olefin, nylon, etc. A synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together to form a long chain called polymer. There are two types of synthetic fibers. They are regenerated synthetic fiber. It is made from natural fibers that have been chemically processed. Example, rayon. True synthetic fiber. It is made entirely from chemicals. Example, nylon. Synthetic fibers are drawn out into long threads or filaments, usually by spinning method. Spinneret is a perforated plate through which molten and dissolved parent material is forced. This changes it into fine threads. Advantages of synthetic fibers. They are less expensive than natural fibers. They can be easily dyed into any desired color. They have a longer life. They are highly lustrous. They are moth resistant. They are easy to be washed and maintained. They do not wrinkle readily. Disadvantages of synthetic fibers. They are not good absorbers of sweat. They do not allow air to pass through them. There are a number of chemicals used in the manufacturing of fiber. Thus, they might cause a few skin problem. They burn easily. They are non-biodegradable. Synthetic fiber on catching fiber shrink form beads that stick to the skin. These fibers fade faster losing color. Take two cloth pieces of the same size. One of these should be from natural fiber and other should be from synthetic fiber. Soak these pieces in different mugs, each containing the same amount of water. Take the pieces out of containers after 5 minutes and spread them in the sun for few minutes. Observe which cloth dry up early. Some common synthetic fibers. Rayon. Rayon is also called artificial silk as it has properties similar to that of silk. Rayon is a regenerated cellulose fiber obtained by chemically modifying naturally occurring cellulose obtained from wood. It has a number of properties which makes it similar to natural fiber. These are soft, smooth, cool, comfortable and highly absorbent. The disadvantage is that they insulate body heat and thus are not suited for use in summers. Although, rayon is obtained from a natural source that is wood pulp, yet it is a man-made fiber. Uses of rayon Rayon is used in making apparels like suits, ties, jackets, lingerie, etc. It is used in furnishing, surgery products and feminine hygiene products. It is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpets. Nylon Nylon is an artificial fiber made purely by chemicals. It is a thermoplastic material made by forming a very long chain of amide molecules which are obtained chemically from petroleum products. Nylon is light in weight and durable. It is strong and elastic. It is highly heat resistant. It absorbs less water and thus dries up easily. Uses of Nylon It is used in textile industry for making yarn. It is used for preparing clothing, 
fishing nets, ropes, parachutes, bristles of toothbrush, etc. It is also used in making small parts of machines like washers, pulleys, gears, bushes, etc. Polyester Polyester is long chain polymer composed of approximately 85% ester, a dihydric alcohol, and a terephthalic acid. Polyester is an extremely strong fabric. It is a durable chemical, shrinking, wrinkle, and abrasion resistant. It is hydrophobic in nature. It can be easily washed and dried. It can be used as a good insulating material. Uses of Polyester Polyester is used in manufacture of all kinds of clothes and home furnishings like pillows, bedspreads, carpets and curtains. Polyester is used to make pet bottle that stores beverages. Polyester is used in making balloons. Mylar is a kind of polyester film which is used to make balloons. It is also used to manufacture high strength ropes and threads. Acrylic It is obtained by the polymerization of acrylonitrite monomer. It resembles wool in its properties. It is resistant to the attack of moth and other insects and chemicals. It is washable and shrink proof. Some examples are Orlon, Acrylon, and Cashmelon. It is used for making sweaters, blankets, and shawls. Plastic This refers to a material which can be molded into the desired form. Plastics are man made materials made up of long chain molecules called polymers. Some naturally occurring polymers are cellulose, cotton, silk, and wool. There are various articles in our day to day life that are made of plastic. The various types of plastics are thermosets, elastomers, and thermoplastics. Plastics which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics. Polyethenes and PVCs are some of the examples of thermoplastics. On the other hand, there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. Bakelite and melamine are some examples. Some characteristics of the plastics are as follows. Plastic is generally chemical resistant. It is hardly affected by acids and alkalis. Plastic is non-biodegradable. Plastic is light in weight than metals. Plastic is tough and has a high tensile strength. Plastic is a bad conductor of heat and electricity. Plastic material can be made as transparent as glass. Plastic can be molded into a variety of household and industrial products. Commonly used plastics Polyethene It is most common plastic. It is used to make plastic bags, food containers, pipes and other packaging products. Polystyrene It is used as packaging foam in food containers, disposable cups, plates, cutlery, CDs, and cassette boxes. Polyester It is mostly used as fiber in textile industry. Polyamide It is used in fabrics, toothbrush bristle, fishing nets. Polyvinyl chloride It is used as a covering for electric wires and in manufacturing plumbing pipes, shower curtains, window frames, and flooring. Fibers and their burning results. Cotton Result of burning Burn vigorously with the smell of burning paper, wool and silk. Result of burning, burn slowly with the smell of burning feathers or hair. Rayon Result of burning, burns readily with the smell of burning paper. Polyester Result of burning, burns slowly and forms a bead. Acrylon Result of burning, shrinks from flame, forms a black head and a sooty flame. Environmental Aspects of Plastics Plastic in spite of being the wonderful material in the world, is the cause of many hazards. The biggest drawback of plastic is that it is non-biodegradable. Careless disposal of plastic bags is one of the most significant problem related to plastic. Nowadays, most places have two different types of dustbins. One of these is for biodegradable products and the other for non-biodegradable. Plastic is dumped into the latter one. Carelessly thrown plastic items may choke the drains. Quite often, plastic bags are swallowed by the grazing creatures and may be fatal for them. Control over plastic There is a bit that we can contribute towards saving ourselves from the hazards of plastic. Some of them are 
we should reduce the use of plastic products. If possible, it should be recycled and reused. Instead of using polythene bags 